What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing another how to mine video. I already showed you how to mine Ethereum Classic plus Zill. Today we'll be showing you how to mine Ethereum plus Zill. So just to go quickly over the prices of it, Ethereum is currently $343 and Zillica is just below one and a half cents. So what do we need to mine Ethereum plus Zillica? Well, let's get into it guys. First thing you gotta go to is ether ethermine.org. I'm going to go ahead and click on start mining. Right here, it'll give you all the pools for Ethermine. You know, if you're in Asia, Europe, US East or West, and also your ports that you need. So we're going to need this to set up our bat file. But most important about this page is this is where I get my Claymore Miner. So you guys can choose Claymore Miner, Ethermine or Phoenix Miner. As you guys know already, I love my Claymore Miner. That's what I use a lot. So you can go ahead and click on it. It will take you to Bitcoin Talk. And you can just click on this mega link and start downloading it. I already have it downloaded, so I don't have to go through this. But you can choose your, you know, 15.0 is the current one. This is your Linux. And the one on the bottom is your Windows. So once we get that downloaded, we will need a bat file, which we're going to need to create a new text document. So I'm going to go ahead over that and I'm going to show you where I get my bat file set up easily so I don't have to type anything in manually. So this is what your Flamer Miner should look like. Once it's downloaded and extracted, you would right click, go to new, a new text document. I already have it created. So once you open a text document, you're gonna copy and paste ETH, this here, Miner64. Here's your pool, you're gonna need two addresses. First, you're gonna put your Ethereum address, then you're gonna put your Zillica address. So it's so Ethereum address dot Zillica, and you can see eWorker is UNK crypto. So to easily set this up so you don't have to worry about messing anything up, we're gonna go ahead go to ezil.me. Once you go to ezil.me, this is what it's gonna open. Go ahead and scroll down and say start mining. Since we are using Claymore Miner, this is your BAT file. So up here, it's going to ask you to enter your ETH wallet. So I'm just going to put once. Next, it's going to ask you for your Zill wallet. You can see that the 101.222. Then worker UNK crypto, which I do for mine. It has it all set up here for you. All you would have to do is copy it and paste it into your new text document or batch file that we started. Now, when you do save it, make sure you save and make sure it is a dot bat file once that is all done we will go back into the claymore folder and you can see it did create a windows batch file it has to be a batch file because if we don't save it like that and you double click it it won't do anything so we're going to go ahead and double click on the eth zill which we just created it should open something like this for you Give it about 30 to 60 seconds to start working. As you can see, it's saying currently 0, 0 mega hash, but if you give a couple of seconds, it will go up to about, I believe it does 28 when I'm recording, and it does 30.2, 30.3, and I have nothing running but the miner. So we're going to just give it a couple of seconds here just to show you guys. There you go. There's the first one, 26.6, 26.5. That's all it's going to do. Here it's showing what I have. Currently 45 Celsius is my card. Fan is at 72, 69 watts. So we're going to let this run. I just want to show you guys what the settings are that I'm using on my card to mine this. So if you guys haven't seen my video MSI Afterburner and how to use it, please do. So what the settings I have, I'm using the same ones that we use on the Ethereum Classic. So power limit is down to 58. Core clock I left at zero and memory clock I played around with a little bit but I left at 948, 950, 940, 930. Where are we gonna put it? Fans I have at 72. I want to keep it under 50 so it does not get too hot. And you look at down here, guys, we already have I accept the share. So these results get me about 30.2, 30.3 when nothing else is running. So now we want to see our mine working. So we're going to go back to easel.me. So under easel.me, top right corner is going to ask you to enter your ethereum.zill address. I already have it entered, so it saved it for it. As you can see here, guys, it is working. It doesn't have enough data yet, but it is working. It's telling me that I have 0 0.000016 Ethereum already. It's saying I should be making one cent a day, but that's not up to completely. It should be about 
maybe a dollar to the together if not a little more a couple of things i want to show you on this you can see eth it's currently mining ethereum and next round for zill is about 38 minutes so it's going to switch over to mine zill if we go down here you can see i already have accepted shares so that's it guys download the claimer miner make sure you have the two addresses ethereum and zill make sure you go to ezill dot mi start mining enter your addresses here and here and your worker name create a batch file copy that in there for it you're probably gonna have to copy it then save it as a bad file all right guys that's it for ethereum plus zill if you have any questions please leave them below any suggestions are always well and guys have a wonderful day